space, 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 space,
and for all intents and purposes it's used for a similar process. So he'd go around and collect what they call tar from the truck drivers and then he'd take it to his studio and put, put it through an oxidization process which is supposed to be secret. But essentially after he did that rusting, he just hang it in exhibition um, halls and that would really be his, his, his thing to do. He just collect the tar, do a rusting process and just hang it as is. Similar to the explanation that Jose had is that this tarp had been to several places and essentially encapsulated the story of these people who, who carried it. So it, it had a history, it had a story. And in my mind, these, these um, worn weather tarp reflect for me the people. But actually this aspect of, of, of the project was the part that I found most fascinating the actual exchange with the vendors. What I'd do is I'd take a brand new tarpaulin and exchange them for precisely the same size that they were giving me. So their distressed, worn tarp, I'd measure it and based on the size I'd give them something brand new for that which, which actually went down quite well. I was very deliberate in the types of tarpaulin that I chose because I wanted tarpaulin that was really distressed, had a texture that showed signs of wear and tear, which for me, well, I've said that it's really a metaphor for the people for me because it's a lot of wear and tear on their physical and I'm sure psychological being, what they do in, in that coronation market. Um, I couldn't. I couldn't help but see similarities in that other market that took place years ago. Um, that being the marketing slaves, African slaves. And so essentially what you're looking at, these images on the wall, I'm referencing the image that has come to us from the cross section of the, cross of the uh, transatlantic slave ship, where in fact those images are actually lying down, but I have them standing up, which in a sense, is me making a statement there, having survived, having endured. And even in the market, even though you know, there's a lot of distress, uh, literally and figuratively, um, there's a sense of resilience because these people, some of them have been doing it for years, it's how they live. And in, in wanting to demonstrate that, I have these images actually standing up. In addition to that, I've, I've stitched some of the tarpaulin to together with a very bright orange to add some energy and life to show that it's not all gloom and doom and um, well there's hope, there's always hope.